Ricky Brabeck has finally done it. Ever since taking off from Jeddah, he had one goal to win the Dakar and finally get a Honda on top of the podium. The journey of the bad boy who became a Dakar hero. I was the guy that didn't know what he wanted. You know, I just was having fun and then now I'm having fun, but I know what I want and I know what I'm working for. Troublemaker kid. You know, I was always in trouble at school, always in trouble at home. My parents shipped me off to military school when I was like 12. Um, you know, I matured and uh, realized that I was not so smart back, back when I was a child. Raised to riding in the deserts of California, Brayback discovered the Dakar five years ago. I wasn't sure the bug would bite, but yeah, since my first Dakar in 2016. I've, you know, I've become addicted and our main focus every week, every day of all year is the Dakar. A year ago, he was comfortably leading the rally two days from the end before a major mechanical setback. Last year was, was a tough one to swallow, but uh, I, I feel like it's time to put the pieces together and win. So I came here a little frustrated from last year and that kind of helped me fight, you know, a little bit harder. Mission accomplished after leading since day three. You win the Dakar, then you realize like the miserable days you spent training, sick or not, the, the hot days you spent training, it all paid off. It, it's all part of the game, you know? We, we do this because we love it, and uh, it, it keeps us coming back whether we win or not. Um, but to bring home that, that trophy, yeah. I, I don't know, I'd probably just go home and just lay there, just be like, I don't know. I'd soak it all in dude, for the whole year until, until 2021 Dakar.